everybody, it's Christy back with another video and today we are going to talk about the Holbein Artist Squash Irodori Spring Set. So I've done the winter set and the fall set here and now we are going to talk a little bit about the spring set. So our spring set has 12 colors in it and I know that these, these were for a while super affordable and I know they have recently gone up in price. But when I purchased this, it was somewhere between $50 and $60. So it was definitely a steal for that price. I'll just go through the colors because I do know that I think on Blick you can get these open stock. So in case you see a color you really would like to have, um, you can know what's in each set. So we've got Vermilion. Pale Coral. Looking forward to that. It's a really pretty pink. This one is called Korea Japonica Yellow. Yamabuki is the name in Japanese. I'm not even trying the Japanese names, you guys. Um, lemon, which is pretty. That's a pretty lemon yellow. Light Ochre. Pale Patina. Seedling, so just a beautiful variety of pastel rainbow colors here. Myos, Myo, Myosotis Blue, I think is how you would pronounce that. Dayflower Blue. Bellflower, which is a beautiful purple. Very excited for that purple. And then we have a silver gray here and a metallic. We have an antique silver tube of gouache, which I am super excited to have a silver in this set. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put them here in my Sylvan Clayworks palette. And I'm going to swatch them out on some Stillman and Burn Beta Series uh, paper. And after we swatch, then we will go ahead and make an art piece with these as well. But if I haven't talked about this before, I do really like these sets of gouache. I think they're really, really neat and that they work very, very well. In general, Holbein's gouache is a little bit stickier than Windsor & Newton or some of the other companies out there, but I do really like it. It's highly pigmented. It's high quality. And it is gouache I go back to again and again. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some dots on here and do some swatches. Maybe do a little bit of mixing only because we might need orange and we would need to mix a brown and a black. So I will see what I can do with these paints. And I will go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to listen to me talk whilst I swatch.
right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this turned out really, really cute. I'm really, really happy with how this piece ended up. It's going to go in my April bullet journal, which I know it's already April 16th, but I didn't get my spread finished in there yet. So this is what's going to go in there. I did leave this intentionally a little bit more white because I think I'm going to write April 2024 right there, but I'm not going to do it on camera because we all know that I am not the best when it comes to such things. But as always with the other paint sets that we have from Iridori, I really, really love these. I really think they're so much fun and I love the color palette when it is kind of a limited palette. This one is definitely a beautiful limited palette. I would almost argue that you could add like a white and a black to this and you would be really good if you wanted a set of really nice pastel colored wash paints. This is like a very complete set of pastel colored rainbow-esque make just about anything you want gouaches. Uh, I made easily made a brown. Actually, where is my swatches on. So here's the swatch page that I did. And yeah, I mean, you can see the full range of colors there and how nicely it values out with water. And then we've got some extra mixes over here. I was trying to get some neutrals and I wanted to get a pure orange, which I was easily able to get. Um, and then this metallic, it's a pretty nice metallic. It's really hard for me to kind of show you. There it is. There we hit the sun and I mixed it with a couple of these paints to see if it would really work with them and you can kind of barely see it, but it kind of works better on its own. I'm not mad at having a silver metallic gouache to play with, but it just did not come up in this piece. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed painting along with me today and exploring this color palette. And like I said, we've now used the spring set, the fall set, and the winter set. I am hoping to get my hands on the summer set, but we will see how that plays out. I'm really going to wait for it to go on sale because it's quite pricey at the moment. So which of these sets has been your favorite so far? Um, did you like my flower choices for the springtime? And which color in this set was your favorite? Those are all questions I'd love answered in the comments below. And that's going to be it for me today. I hope that this inspires you to paint something beautiful with gouache. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.